Hi, so in this video we will talk about the Borbo temperament, but before we, we dive into the characteristics of the Borbo as a working breed, let's first talk about what were they bred to do. It's important to know this so we can understand our animal, okay? So the Borbos were bred to protect families of South African farmers when they are away from wild animals and intruders. Okay, so it's important to know that the Borbo is not a lap dog, is not a couch dog, the Borbo is a working breed and the, and the Borbo is a family, a guard and a protection dog. Okay, so let's dive into the characteristics of the Borbo as a working breed. Okay, so let's now dive into the Borbo temperament, okay? But before we do that, I want to do a disclaimer here. Unlike any other video that you watch on YouTube, any other, no, it's not fair to say any other. There are many good quality videos on YouTube about this breed, but most of the videos that actually ranked for, for keywords uh, are, are usually done by people that don't even have Borbo, okay? So you, if you really want to know about this breed from someone that have experience, I believe it's important for you to subscribe to this channel right now uh, because most of the videos out there are done by people that don't even know what the breed is they just uh, google online and throw up some information on on youtube okay uh, there are some videos um, uh, videos about the breed uh, that are done by people that only have one or two barbels so they cannot really uh, uh, tell that they have the necessary experience to talk in depth about uh, this breed, only about their experience, okay? So, uh, to recap all of this, if you want to know about this breed from someone that actually owned Borbo, because we own over 35 Borbos in our farm and dealt with over 100 Borbos in the last few years, okay? So, make sure you subscribe to our channel, okay? So, let's now dive into the Borbo temperament. As I said in the beginning of this video, to understand the, the 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 heart of the warble you first need to know what were they bred to do okay they were bred to be the perfect family protection guard dog okay so those characteristics luckily we still can find in the heart of the warble so the warble is a very loyal dog it's a very protective dog because they are so attached to their families they can become quite protective especially with little kids and uh, speaking about little kids it's important to tell you one thing also the burble and i have and i have owned uh, several breeds in the past many breeds and i can tell you with absolutely certainty that the burble is one of the best dogs that exist around kids i have um, a four month old baby and I have a 12 year old daughter that grown up around Borbos and I can tell you that the Borbo is simply amazing with kids simply amazing and they can become quite protective so uh, this is a good thing but can be a bad thing also so if you have a burble and you have your kids with a burble make sure you are watching carefully because if some stranger approach to talk to to, to talk about to talk to to the dog or talk to the family they can become protective okay so let's uh, let's talk about the characteristics so like i said the burble is a very loyal dog it's a very protective dog he is also very territorial, which makes them a very good guard dog, okay? Because they really, really, really guard their territory. Also, they are a breed that you need to be careful uh, when dealing with them. Uh, you really need to have a strong presence and you really need to show who's the boss to your dog because the Borbo can be quite dominant. So make sure you, you tell your burble that you are the pack leader show your dog that you are the pack leader so uh, they uh, they don't start uh, trying to dispute the leadership with you okay but they are highly intelligent so they will understand fast if you really know how to show them okay so uh, one thing that is important to tell about the burble the burble is a very confident dog okay at least it should be uh, nowadays, the Borbo is not exactly what it, what it was a few years ago. Some breeders, uh, like us, for example, um, work with our dogs, breed working Borbos, so usually they are very confident. However, uh, they are a very sensitive breed. They really grow 
to the really are slow growers so a borbo for example with one year of age they are just little puppies okay uh, so you really need to have very patient when training your dog when socializing your dog be patient be sweet with your dog because they tend to take a very long time to grow up and be mature okay after they mature they are really confident breed but until that make sure you do the job right and with patience with uh, with the love so you don't break the dog okay uh, now it's important to tell you two more things okay the burble uh, because of their uh, because of their function in the past they are really really attached to us they if you have a burble you know what i'm saying they they really need to, they uh, if we go to the bathroom they want to go to the bathroom with us if we are in the kitchen they are in the kitchen if we are in the living room they will be in the living room if you are in the garden they will be in the garden they always want to be around our family okay our their leader that's that's uh, that, that's a characteristic that I really love about the burble. Uh, they they are not a breed to be left alone for for too much time because they can become quite destructive. They really hate to be alone because they miss you. Okay, so give them love. Uh, don't leave them alone too much time, and you will have the best companion in the world. Okay, so if you want to know more about this breed, make sure you click here or here. I don't know. You will see some videos talking about uh, more in depth about this breed. Okay, so thank you for watching. Stay tuned and bye. Poof.